TB is a leading infectious disease killer. There are 10.6 million people that get TB each year. 1.6 million people die each year. And there's 500,000 people that get drug-resistant TB that is very difficult to treat. Before Pertominid, the treatment of drug-resistant TB consisted of at least seven drugs given for 18 months. Patients had to take 23 tablets a day and it had some really potential severe side effects. So we started looking for alternatives. We thought it was really important to invest in a public-private partnership like TB Alliance because then together we can pool our resources to come up with the best available tools. We need shorter regimens, we need less toxic regimens, and so we worked to invest in the development of new drugs. And one of the alternatives that came up for the treatment of drug-resistant TB was the BPAL regimen. To spell it out, it's bedaquine, protominid, and linezolid. We're talking about three drugs as opposed to seven. Is that's given for six months, not 18 months. And nine out of 10 of our patients were cured. So lots of pills, lots of side effects is now translated into a very short, clean, all oral regimen for the treatment of drug-resistant TB. For it had a lot of side effects and uh, the medication that I'm taking now is less. I feel that my future is looking bright and uh, we can be TB. The success of Protominid is shared by partners all around the world. We've all come together to work on these common goals to achieve life-saving treatments. And so now it's available in 40 countries and we've seen that already over 4,000 people have access. Global health can't advance if we don't have investments in research and development. We can save as many lives as possible. We can cure as many people as possible. We can stop transmission of TB, drug-resistant TB. And I would like it to be that anyone who requires is offered this as a treatment option. And I'm hoping that as we've got more effective treatment that's easier to deliver and easier to take, that we'll be able to achieve the aim of eradicating TB all over the world.